Hi, I'm Tamanka Ball. And I'm Foster Denning. And we're here at the Lee County Humane Society to get an in-depth tour of the facilities with Executive Director Bobby O. Alrighty then, let's go. This is our front desk and several of our staff members and everything happens up here. Um, we have people who come in with stray animals and want to turn them in people who surrender their own animals, and we also have adoptions that take place here. And over here we have our adoption counseling room, so uh, someone would go over all the paperwork with you if you were going to adopt a dog or a cat, and give you a little bit of medical history and any other information that we have on that pet about their behavior and that sort of thing, and, and instructions for what to do when you get home. So the puppies, and uh, it could get a little noisy in here, but to see them up close, Inside. They're young, they don't have a lot of immunity at this point in their lives, and they need to be kept separate from, um, especially the adult animals. This is our cat room to um, handle the cats and play with them, and it helps, you know, for people to decide what cat they would like to take home. So, are you guys thinking of adopting? I wish. Yeah, you came to play with them. That's yes. great. That's yeah. wonderful. They love that. Are you all thinking of adopting? Yes, ma'am. Yeah? Good. Excellent. And then this is a, uh, the adoption uh, adult dogs. And it can get really noisy in these kennels. It, it gets up to 110 decibels, um, especially in the morning when it's really busy here and we're cleaning and that sort of thing. But um, this row and the next row are all adoptable animals. We just sent four animals, oh, we do a lot of relocation, we just sent four animals over to Atlanta Pet Rescue where the adoption fee is going to be $300 per animal. Here you can adopt a dog for $80, but we just can't find enough adopters in Lee County, unfortunately, for all the animals that we get. <laughs> this time last year and then I worked here and then started working at the vet office and I just recently started volunteering again. So I guess but I've been with Lee County for about a year now. I would definitely recommend it to someone else. <clears throat> the experience here is rewarding to be able to like hold her now and give her love and get her out of her kennel is a rewarding experience. Um, I definitely recommend it to Others who are just trying to find something to do on the weekend or even during the week. Um, I have a dog of my own and he gets out and I, I feel like all the other dogs, even the kitties, need some loving. One of the great things that we have, we have a partnership with Hubbard High School and uh, Paul Casserone is our board president. Paul teaches engineering over at the high school and they build these beautiful doors for us. And we started them um, back here in the holding area because the great thing about these doors is they help keep down the transmission of disease. So if a dog has kennel cough, it will help keep that from spreading to another dog. Alabama state law requires that we hold these animals, the ones that are strays, for seven days in case their owner comes. What happens is that only about 8% of stray animals are claimed by owners. We also have a room for holding cats for the seven days. And we don't have too many right now. Um, summer is when there is just a huge influx of cats. Cats can have three litters a year, five to seven cats at a time, kittens at a time. 
and um, that accounts for the uh, tremendous overpopulation problem we have in Lake County when it comes to cats. This is a cat that got away from us. Uh, he broke out of his cage and he's been running around in our ceiling for about a week now. We've left food and water and a cat box out for him, but he um, has not seen fit to turn himself in. This happens occasionally here, and it's just something we've uh, learned to live with. <laughs> we try to come up with a barn cat program so that we have a lot of cats like this one up here who's just a little bit on the wilder side, but he's not really a feral cat either, you know. He, but where he might thrive is um, on a farm in somebody's barn helping to keep the rodent population down. And many communities have that. We haven't developed one here yet, but it's something that we're looking at. Lots of kittens. Um, half of our intakes, up until recently, we contracted with both cities and Lee County. Now we only contract with the two cities. But um, until the end of September, our intakes numbered over 5,000. And um, basically half of those are puppies and kittens. The big thing that, you know, the, big, the most important message that we want to get across is that there are too many animals. We have low rates of spay and neuter in um, Lee County compared to the rest of the country. It's upwards of 80% for both owned cats and dogs. Here, it's thought to be much lower, maybe in the 20 to 30% range. And so, because of that, we, we are inundated with puppies and kittens. We can get a lot of puppies out of here to other states where they've done a good job with spay and neuter. Uh, cats, not so much. Um, everybody's overrun with cats across the country, really. So um, we don't have as many options for them. But um, with dogs, it's better. Um, we just built a spay and neuter clinic, which I'm going to show you in just a minute. And the problem is we can't legally use it yet. The state law, um, the Veterinary Practice Act, does not allow a nonprofit like us to hire a veterinarian. Only a veterinarian can hire another veterinarian. So that puts us in an awkward position. We're working really hard on legislation to change that. It's actually, I think, the most important work we're doing right now because that's what will solve the problem. So this is the, um, the preparation and recovery group. Both. We're going to have cages over here and a table here. So animals will be prepped for surgery right here. They'll be taken in here to our surgery suite. And we'll have two tables and um, one uh, surgeon and an assistant that will be staying and neutering the animals. Then once they're completed and um, there'll be an area here where they'll be observed for a period of time and once they're stable they'll go out to the recovery area and then just rest there. Um, in here is the scrub room and everything is touchless. It's all brand new. Um, we can't wait till we can use this because we think it's going to make the greatest impact on the issue of animal welfare in Lee County. But we need fifty dollars to $60,000 worth of equipment. And um, we also, in order to be eligible for grants, we have to be able to open to the public and that's what we can't do right now. So um, that's the legislation that we're working on. And it's gone through the House Two years in a row, it's gotten stuck in the Senate. It's very frustrating. <laughs>